Hi, in this video I'm going to explain the high-level design for Cloudian Hyperstore running in a multi-cloud environment. We chose the most widely used public cloud providers as many multi-cloud setups commonly use at least one of the hyperscalers, these being AWS, GCP and Azure. We chose three regions on the west coast of the US to reduce latency as some deployment options are more sensitive to this. We deployed three load balancers, one for each cloud, and then three Hyperstore nodes in each cloud with a total of nine. This gave the flexibility to run multiple different scenarios including replication, erasure coding, tiering and cross-region replication. The specification of those nodes can be seen here. VPN connections were established between the three clouds which allow for secure communication and the domain mcl.cloudinhyperstore.com was used with the MCL denoting multi-cloud. If we look at the high level overview, we can see a logical representation of what this looks like with the three Hyperstore nodes per cloud and three hyperbalance load balancers directing the traffic to those nodes. If we delve a little deeper at the network setup, you can start to see some of the underlying architecture in these clouds, such as the virtual networks and VPN connections. Here, they are represented as two lines as they're in a highly available configuration. Load balancing in this environment consists of a mixture of Layer 7 and GSLB. As mentioned earlier, we're using a combination of Layer 7 and GSLB. In this diagram, you can see the hyperbalance load balancers in each location. They have a corresponding external IP address. Now, we have delegated gslb.mcl.cloudianhyperstore.com and cmc.mcl.cloudianhyperstore.com for GSLB. Once it comes into these load balancers, the GSLB will work out the best placement for that call, and then the layer 7 will perform the load balancing to each of the nodes in each of the clouds. The Hyperstore configuration itself mirrors what we created in each of the clouds. When we click on Cluster, we bring up the Data Centers tab. This shows each of the three nodes in each of the three public cloud providers. Here's GCP, AWS and Azure. Now, if we click on one of these nodes, you can see details like CPU utilization, the disks it has access to and the, what size they are, and all the services that are running on those nodes. In terms of cluster config, we have each of the endpoints listed. We've got our admin endpoint, our S3 endpoint, and then we do also have S3 endpoints for each of the clouds individually if we wanted to specify exactly where the requests are going. Once a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud setup is implemented, a data analytics platform is required to understand how each of the clouds is performing and to gather information around user analytics. This data is invaluable in helping understand workloads and data placement. For this, Cloudian has HyperIQ. If we log into HyperIQ, we get greeted with a dashboard. This gives a good idea of what's happening on the cluster at any moment in time. We can see the capacity, CPU usage, memory usage, what nodes are actually in the cluster and the resources they have, as well as details like capacity details per node. As you can see here, these three nodes have slightly more capacity than the others. And more detailed CPU memory and load details. If we look at S3 analytics, this is where we start to see more user behavior. Now I'm just going to take this from the last hour to the last 24 hours. And as you can see here, we've got eight active users on the system using 13 buckets, the amount of data uploaded and downloaded, object count and byte count. And here you can start to see top users, top buckets, top clients, and top S3 operations. And this gives you a really detailed in-depth look at what the cluster is doing, allowing you to make intelligent decisions about data placement. I hope that you've enjoyed this demonstration 
and it has given you some insight into what is possible with Cloudian Hyperstore in a hybrid or multi-cloud environment.